one of the really cool and helpful features in a lot of the native instruments synthesizers is that we can use our computer keyboard like we would a MIDI keyboard. And we can do the same thing in contact, but of course we have to enable that option. Reactor is a lot like contact in that uh, respect because we actually have to enable that option. We have reactor six open here. And if I just hit some keys, nothing, okay? So we have to enable that option. And to do that, we come up here to options. If you don't have this uh, you know, title bar, you can always come to this drop down, go to options and turn on MIDI keyboard activated. Just check it right here. You see that it is checked. So now whenever we press a key on our computer keyboard, it's going to be like a MIDI keyboard. There we go. Really easy and simple to do. So you can you know, bang out your ideas if you happen to be on a Surface or a laptop or some sort of a mobile system. Maybe you don't have a MIDI controller or you don't want to bring one with you. In that case, you can use your computer keyboard. Now you can play chords with this as well, you know, just like you would a MIDI keyboard, but this synth right now is set up to be uh, mono. Okay, so here we have contour. Now the way this is laid out, it's just like a MIDI keyboard. So here we have C, all of our white keys be here and all of your black keys would be here so c c sharp d d sharp e nothing there we don't have an e uh, e sharp right to f okay and then you have higher octave up here and then more more black keys across your numbers so that's how it's laid out all right we have razor load up here again Right? So if I have my mouse, okay, let's just say I move this pitch. Right? So now this is sort of focused. So now I can use the up and down arrows on our keyboard. I go up, see us moving that pitch. I can hold uh, the over arrow, left or right arrows, and I can move it as well. Now I can also use the page up and page down keys. You can see this is jumping by 10 now. You can also, if numlock is off, you can use these keys here as well, but I doubt you'll be using those. So these are the most uh, helpful and useful. Page up, page down, and of course, just your arrow keys. So if I... All right, all kinds of stuff uh, that you can do there real easily. And if I had uh, chosen a different knob, if I had just click, say, the boost knob, same thing applies there. Let me move the mouse out of the way so you can see that. And by the way, even if that option happens to be on and you turn on your caps locks, all right, now, guess what? No sound. So if you don't get any sound and that option is turned on, Turn off your caps locks and you should be fine. Right there, I'm using home and end, and then that's jumping me the full, uh, the full width of of our uh, knob there. So I can move, let me move the mouse out of the way so you can see that. If I hit home, it takes us all the way up, end will take us all the way down. Okay. Same thing for any other knob that you want to control. This about there.
So that is how you can use your computer keyboard like you would a MIDI keyboard right here in Native Instruments, Reactor.